Hi there, here's a short video looking at a chain of reasoning on whether higher wages cause cost push inflation. So examiners are looking for clear chains of analytical reasoning uh, for the answer to get those top marks. Uh, if you try to build connective phrases into your answers, I'll give you an example in a second. If you get the analysis right, if it's nice and clean and clear and sequential, that will then encourage stronger evaluation. Here's the question. Analyze how increasing wages might cause cost push inflation. And here's my answer. Labour costs are often the highest cost for business. Uh, this is true in labour intensive industries. An increase in hourly wage rates in a business, in an industry, such as construction, that just gives me a bit of, a bit of application, can lead to higher unit labour costs. As a result, there's a connective. Firms are then under pressure to raise their prices to protect their profit margins. High unit labour costs can therefore cause, connective phrase, an inward shift of short-run aggregate supply, or SRAS. Ceteris paribus, comma, this will lead to an increase in cost push inflation. And with prices rising, workers may then demand compensating wage increases to protect their real incomes. What I've done here is, for example, in blue and bold there, those are key terms. Those are key concepts. You can build those into your analysis. And we're looking for a sequential chain of reasoning. By the way, this is what the paragraph looks like if you add all this together. Uh, it doesn't have to be a long one, providing it has a nice, clean and clear chain of reasoning. And a little bit of application. I use construction as my example. Obviously, we could support this analysis with a diagram. So higher wages, if they lead to higher a unit labour costs would cause an inward shift of aggregate supply, driving the price level up and causing a contraction in real output. Now, evaluation. Whether or not higher wages do cause cost push inflation depends in part. I love that phrase, by the way. Depends in part on what is happening to labour productivity or efficiency. So, for example, if wages are increasing by 3%, but labour efficiency measured perhaps by output per worker, is also growing, going up by 3%. And actually, uh, wage, uh, wage increases and productivity increases cancel themselves out, essentially, and the unit labour costs will remain the same. And another evaluation point is that other business costs, such as the global price of energy, oil and gas, or prices for essential key raw materials and components, they might be going in the opposite direction. So you might get higher wage inflation, but higher, but a fall in input price inflation in other parts of the business or across the economy as a whole. There we go, a chain of reasoning on wages and cost push inflation. Hopefully it was useful. If you enjoyed it, uh, please press, press like and subscribe. Lots more revision videos on the way as we approach the exams.